Ah, the well. It feels off. Smells off too. Shite off. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologise, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shite bag, I don't gossip. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Good news. This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. Fear not. The bugger off soon. They both will. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ruth and Alexander Watson. The cobbler's wife and brother. You bachelor said Lucy Barrow cursed the house and it burned down. The house burned it's down, nonsense. and I suspect the rest is nonsense. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. Fields should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. You've done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. Those bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God, and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past's the past. Dead and buried. 
My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you had mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried, I buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Fear not. Whatever happened. It happened off soon. God's acre. They both will. Is that a female? I think I see a patella. Lovely. Grave robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Decoys to distract wayward spectres. To keep them away from the Watson plot, I think. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Perhaps the decoys make sure it's the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. Be your last. Aye, thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Moments from the past are still here. Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Something's nearby. Where is it? What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? He 
here and now, I lift the curtain. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it. To inhabit. So it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb, could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler. A poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cat. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go, and... So young, too. You deserve better. We deserved better, and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends.
for he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <clears throat> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing. Bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. Wars. I'm going to need a hand here. The ghost wants to feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? I'll give you once more. There's a way through. I can take care of it. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank ramp! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me! Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right.
He come full. I'm a Giri. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? It tore me in two. I loved Alexander, but I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother, but I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait, Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual? After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Alexander, you were wronged. But Ruth owes you not. Not her life, nor her death. I'm not my brother. I am the man who runs into the burning house. Ruth owes us nothing, but my love is true and his is not. Your love is not measured by what you win. It's measured by what you're willing to let go. I... I'm sorry, Ruth. You deserved better. Better than him. Better than me. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And we'll see if I burn. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me pry you all apart. You have been here.
Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. I. You were in it too. He ruined my name, ruined my flesh, ruined my wife. You gave him a pat on the cheek of his arse and, and sent him on his way. I am an, an imperfect man. My brother was a bastard and, and sly and he tricked you onto his side. What does that make you? I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Alexander, yours is no romantic fable. There is no moral to this tale. You're a hostage taker, nothing more. No, Caleb can go to hell, for he well deserves it. But Ruth and I are in love. Greedy men fight over a woman as if she were a thing. I'm done with that old story. Time to tell a better tale. Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. I banish you! Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. My brother deserved damnation, and you gave it to him. I am an imperfect man, but, uh, but if you're considering the same for me, I'll not go without a fight. I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. I was winning. 